Good morning, it's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Ariana Newcomer, Dove Oracle Priestess, Spiritual Mentor, and soon to be Certified Biofield Tuner, which is a wonderful, wonderful modality for clearing and harmonizing our energy. And my topic today is something that came up. I was reminded of this message when I was in uh, an online session with my spiritual mentor. And we were talking about climate change and the things that we can do from the sort of spiritual realm to assist with this. And the trees reminded me that they had told me that as channels for energy, humans can actually increase the amount of energy under earth that the trees then have to use for to create that resilience and adaptability that's necessary for them in climate change. So I'm gonna take us through this process and you can do this at any time you wish. We actually have, as humans, we have chakra connections deep into earth. And in the biofield tuning method, we work with the earth star chakra, which is just about a foot or foot and a half below our feet, and the sun star, which is about a foot, a foot and a half above our head, so above the crown chakra. Some of you may be familiar with other chakra systems that include many more chakras than just the seven that we generally learn about. So our connect, our, we have this ability to connect deep into earth. And in fact, it's really important for our health and well-being as beings of earth to connect with those deep earth energies. We've talked before about the Schumann resonances, those very low frequencies that are the frequencies that earth creates, earth makes. So those vibrations, they are sounds, even though we don't hear them, they're still sounds. It, um, those sounds, those vibrations are essential for our health and well-being. So through that earth star and also there's a, uh, there's a deeper chakra that goes deeper into earth that uh, I have received actually has a root structure. Um, and you may have heard of the wood wide web, which is now what some people are beginning to call the information networks that are underground, under earth. So tree roots and other plant roots connect with the mycelial networks, the mushrooms, the roots of the mushrooms. Mushrooms that we see are just the fruiting body of this extensive network underground. And those are information pathways. And trees and other plants and, and mushrooms, mycelium, pass information. They pass nutrients to each other too. So a mature forest is a place where all the organisms have come into cooperation. They've come into this level of cooperation where they're assisting each other and even across species. So it's not just that the redwoods will help other redwoods, but they'll help the oaks and the madrones and the pines and the firs. They'll all help each other. So we can contribute to this energy in the under earth web, as I like to think of it, by calling in our own connection to the sun and to cosmic energies. And energy moves via intention. You probably all heard of this. Intention is really critical and crucial for the way we get things to happen. And so we just are simply going to intend. And first we connect with breath. So always I begin a meditation or a process with connecting with breath. This is the first place for us to go. Make sure that your belly is soft and that you are breathing into the belly. So you're not just breathing up here like this. A lot of us think this is a deep breath. That's a shallow breath because the diaphragm needs to move down as we inhale. And in order to do that, the belly has to be soft. So let go of the teaching from your physical therapists and athletic trainers or you know, your Pilates instructor, or hold your abs, hold your abs. Gotta let go in order to really breathe deeply. This is important for voice and for singing too. So one hand on heart, one hand on belly and begin breathing consciously, slowly and deeply. 
And this always begins to move us out of our sympathetic fight or flight nervous system into our parasympathetic calming and centering nervous system. Consciously slowing and deepening our breath. This is our number one tool for rebalancing ourselves at any time. And now we connect, we consciously connect to our existing connection into earth. And we're gonna intensify and add to that connection into earth. So you can imagine creating a nice thick grounding cord like a tree trunk almost going down into earth at the whole width of, of our torso, down into earth and see it going down through that earth star chakra which is a little bit below our feet and then down further into earth to connect with our deep earth chakra and its roots which are connecting with the under earth web now we are going to connect with cosmic energies with the energy from the sun and the cosmos so just again with intention bring our awareness out into the universe and connect with the central sun the center of all creation in the universe. And I like to think of this as the divine cosmic womb, the cosmic womb of divine mother, the center of all creation. And we can draw in a crystalline golden light from there and bring that through our sun, adding energy as it comes. And we see that crystalline golden energy then coming in to our sun star chakra into our crown and into our central channel and flowing down through our bodies and down to that earth star down to the deep earth chakra and spreading out into the under earth web the wood wide web so we see and visualize or we feel some people hear However this happens for you is perfectly fine. We all do this in different ways. Some of us see images, some of us don't. Some of us just feel things moving. However it works for you. So we're bringing this crystalline golden energy, this cosmic energy, which is abundantly available in the universe. So I subscribe to the electric universe theory and other theories that are coming out uh, that don't talk about something like dark matter having to fill up the parts of space that the current, the Big Bang theory uh, of the universe doesn't account for. The universe is actually full of plasma and ether. So these very subtle energies, that's what we're calling on. And that's what actually come to earth when we have the solar flares, the solar winds, that's plasma, plasma energy coming to earth. So that's what we're calling in. That's what we're bringing down as being the bridge between earth and sky as human beings are and as trees are. We pull this energy down. We consciously send it down to our deep earth chakra See it spreading out through its roots, connecting into the under earth web. See that flowing as this crystalline golden light and see it assisting the under earth web to become more resilient, to become stronger in order to be resilient, be flexible, and make the changes that it needs to make in this time of climate change. So this is a way that we can, on a daily basis, assist the trees who help us by exhaling the oxygen that we breathe. We inhale oxygen, they exhale oxygen. We exhale carbon dioxide, they take in carbon dioxide. So we are in the symbiotic relationship with trees by the way that we breathe. We breathe each other, I've said this before. And this is another way that we can give our thanks and gratitude to the trees for this gift of life, the oxygen that we require to, to live by sending them this cosmic energy 
down into the wood wide web in the un, into the under earth web so continue to see this energy coming in through your chakra system flowing down your central channel and down to the deep earth chakra into the roots into the under earth webs as this beautiful beautiful crystalline golden light brightening up all the bio photons in the cells in those root systems, improving the communication pathways, increasing the amount of energy and nutrition that they can gather and share with each other. And this is also a practice that helps us as human beings because running this crystal and golden energy through us and down into earth helps us clear, actually helps us clear our own energy pathways and uh, gives more energy to our central channel which is the traditional seven chakras uh, uh, encompass our central channel uh, of energy in our bodies and so it's going to help us clear and cleanse brighten up our bio photons clear and and heal our dna help to strengthen the cell membranes, which have more importance than we ever realized. So also now see this crystal and golden light just infusing your entire physical body and all of your energy systems, including your, our bio field, our human energy field, which has this shape like a toroid, like a tube torus. And the, this cosmic energy is also filling our energy systems, our energy fields, our internal energy systems, and our physical systems with this crystal and golden light, which is nourishing, healing, protective. So I hope you will take on this practice for the trees and for yourselves. And I would love to hear what your experience is with this. And uh, Again, a reminder that you are welcome to contact me to have biofield tuning sessions now. These are very profound and healing sessions. And seriously, it works just as well over the internet or phone as it does in person. My clients who have experienced both say, yep, it's just as powerful in a distance session. So I look forward to hearing from you. Here's two more coherence more energy, more alignment for us and for the trees. See you next time.